Hello family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Diana Kemi in East African Kenya, guys. Wow. So if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And if this is the f if this is your first time, don't forget to kindly subscribe to my channel, guys. Wow, you don't notice this is something disturbing me in my ear. So I'm actually we are heading to the shamba, guys. Yes, this is um this is a jembe over here. The one which I'm carrying on my shoulder. It was already a planting season. And look around, guys. Yeah. People had already planted their crops. And now we are going to remove weeds around them. Yes. Usually when the maize reaches at this stage, this stage over here, we usually we usually dig to remove the weeds around them so that the weeds cannot choke them yes if you want healthy healthy crops you have to remove those weeds first so that's why we are going to the shamba you can see around maize maize is almost the same size guys yes on this on this side yes and i have my queens in front of me with whom i will be introducing them later as we head towards towards the farm yeah so here this is the way we do things guys so i hope you'll enjoy this video hi 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 you guys he, this is the way the farm is before weeding you can see there are so many kind of weeds over here some grass weed some some black jacks yes so weeding weeding helps to remove this you know these weeds fight for nutrition for for food with the plant so that's why weeding is necessary if you don't weed your plants actually the weeds choke them and they become for human beings they become malnourished and for plants they become they don't give high yields yes that's why it's necessary for um, let me show you the difference the difference you see already here it was yes someone had we did them there's a huge difference you know when you with them even the arrangements of crops become uniform around but when the weeds are just you know scattered everywhere they don't become uniform and neat the way they are you can see nice and clean so this this place has been weeded and the other place which has not been weeded looks doesn't look there's a difference it's it's not really grown well like the other side yeah so actually here it's a mixture of uh, of beans this is beans bean we eat also bean leaves yeah and uh, maize so in a row there is some maize beans maize like that that's how they have mix them around here over here my queens are busy digging digging around and by there they'll be showing you how to remove the weeds properly i'll start with matinde over here matinde how are you i'm fine yes. hello guys hello my name is matinde and yes. welcome and welcome back to dana's kemi channel so guys mm -hmm. today as you can see we <laughs> the queen yes <laughs> we are busy okay we are weeding actually mm -hmm. so as you can see we are on the shamba and actually you see this this shamba it's really it has a lot of weeds actually mm -hmm. even the maize has already started turning yellowish because of 
weed so that's why we are going to weed and we weed properly do you know how to weed guys mm -hmm. let me show you can we bring them close like you see this is a this is a maze okay mm -hmm. this is beans so you're going to weed like you weed from the middle okay mm -hmm. you weed from the middle like this while giving it soil a lot of soil actually you so return you dig, the soil you dig yeah. and you cover it with soil yeah you dig you remove the weeds like this and put it behind and mm -hmm. then you cover the maize with soil like this mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so the same way we are going to apply same way applies to the beans actually mm -hmm. you remove weeds and then you're going to add going to return the soil so that's how you're going to do yes that's how we're going to do guys the whole of this of this place mm -hmm. the remaining place mm -hmm. so that at least now it, it can turn okay it mm -hmm. can turn to be like dark green actually mm -hmm. so stay along and don't forget to subscribe guys and give a video a like okay yeah so hope you enjoyed the video mm -hmm. To the fullest okay <laughs> yes and there is another queen here <clears throat> oh hi guys how are you all doing my name mm -hmm. is queen underscore nancy and uh, i'm glad to be on kemi's channel mm -hmm. today we are in the garden as you've all heard mm -hmm. and we are weeding here's my djembe mm -hmm. You can see how our hand, our ants are. Mm -hmm. Guys, forgive me, I have a flu, so maybe you cannot hear me speak well. Mm -hmm. But then uh, we are here, we are weeding. Mm -hmm. uh, this is part of the morning routine in the village. So it's a must because this, we are in the weeding season. We had planted mm -hmm. and now the crops are up. We are now weeding the crops. By the how many months after we planted? Like one? One month. One month. A yes. month after planting, mm -hmm. you should be weeding your crops. Because if you don't weed them, the weeds will take up all the nutrients and the crops won't do well. Yeah. So for good yield and all that, we weed. Then after weeding, we it's called uh, we do top dressing. Mm -hmm. We top dress the crops after weeding. Mm -hmm. so basically, that is all that we are doing. We are weeding beans uh, mixed, planted together with... Uh, maize but not on the same line in different lines mm -hmm. so i hope you'll enjoy the video as the village girls uh weed their crops yes going we'll be going about digging you can see around the way the way the queens are doing their job very hard working ladies by the way actually what's the right time like in the morning lunch time or evening at what time is it correct to wake up and you know in the morning when the sun is not yet up yeah because you know when it's up actually you'll be sweating you'll be tired. feeling tired yes but when when it's in the morning your body is strong and active yes by then and be, by then you shouldn't eat fast because when you eat your stomach becomes so heavy <laughs> so heavy that you don't feel like moving around but before you eat just go to the farm if you have a farm even if it's a small farm even if it's a garden yeah a backyard garden any type of garden you just wake up in the morning and and you 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 weed it in the morning before even you eat it's a, some kind of exercise actu actually you know after weeding you'll be your body will be will have used a lot of energy and you'll be somehow exhausted so when you just finish and go back to the bathroom you just feel refreshed and it's a uh, it's part of keeping your body healthy yeah that's why when you're in the village you can't be sick easily your body is very strong yes you you find yes fresh things fresh air fresh everything yeah yeah so that and by the way in the village there are so many trees so many many trees even i can show you around over here you can see very many type of trees these trees give us fresh air and some kind of shade when you just feel like relaxing you just go under the tree even when it's sunny like this you go under the tree you take some some nap over there we are done with the chamber work so we are heading home after going home we are going to take a cool shower oh guys we are going 
to to bathe actually in the river so we were in the chamber weeding yes we are tired and actually sweating and i know a good bath at this sunny time will be a good one so i have a soap with me yes these leaves these banana leaves are going to act as my soap dish and i have my queens over here who are going to make a scrubber <laughs> yes a scrubber and actually this is a um, Asak. Yes. So in the village this is what you use to bathe actually. Mm -hmm. So you're going to cut it. Yes. And this thing really scrubs well. That's why <laughs> we prefer using this scrubber. This thing removes even uncommitted sins that haven't been committed yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it can scrub even the sins that haven't been committed yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's what we use to exfoliate. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so. We are not like the town girls who use a lot of scrubs. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, we have the body wash. Scrub. They use a lot oh, of body wash. Oh, we have wash. the body lotion. I don't know what. Whatever. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. we are simple. And this is our scrubber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with this, we have we scrub and then we become we become very clean. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. So. We let us know what you use you yes let us know what you use what what you use when you bathe others use gels different kind of gels others use you know pe many people prefer different ways so here in the village this is the way we use them so actually the river is not far from here it's just a walking distance so we are going now let me show you around before we arrive at the river. This is the scene, guys. You see? This one shows there is some sign of a river nearby. Yeah, this is the silt that has been um, has been carried away with the water. So it deposits itself just around there. You can see the smooth flow of water. Actually, this water is very clean and clear. You can see? Yes, crystal clear water. <laughs> yeah, so this is the scrubber, the fat scrubber. And inside here it's very soft, I don't know what is there, but I hope it's just much. You know, here when something catches you like this, you can really jump. Yeah, so. Let me show you <laughs> the poster we use. So it's 
to scrub my legs yeah I don't I don't have to use uh, 
facial scrub or anything to make them clean. You see? This way. Clean and and fine. This way guys. Going to use them over here. It's. Then my legs are clean, fun. This way. You see? So clean.